Lucy joins us live from Folsom with an update. Hey, Court. Oh, look at the baby. Okay, friends. First things first, we need to refer to her by her name, and our Good Day viewers chose her name. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the reveal. Her name shall be Shasta. Oh, as Shasta. Shasta. Just because she's a Bernie's Mountain Dog. Love it. Love it. Makes total sense. It works. Right? Yep. Little Shasta. Yep. Hello, mamas. Now, there's not a whole lot about Shasta that's little, okay? <laughs> Let me just tell you that. We're going to do this every <laughs> month. <long. laughs> We've got a lapometer. So last month, uh, when she was about four weeks old, maybe like four weeks in a day, took a picture with her on my lap. Totally manageable. She was a sweet little mama. Uh, didn't take up a whole lot of my lap. But this month, as you can see, she is a, a little more girthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she takes up a little bit more of my lap. I have a feeling by the time we hit nine months, you will no longer see me. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. in the lap. Okay, so here's the sitch. We are live. <laughs> so cute. Okay, we're going to put her up on the table here. Uh, we're live at Veterinary Healing Center of Folsom. We've got Dr. Cahoon over here, and of course, we've got Jason the dog guy, Davis. Uh, now, this is your puppy. Jason, we have decided to follow you as you and your family try to raise this little baby girl. Uh, baby Shasta, we can call her now. So, how's it been so far? I know we've got some tips that we want to give our viewers, but the kids, it, it's a little harder to corral her than they thought it was, right? It is. Her true colors are now coming out. <laughs> Last time we saw her, she was at the house for one day. Yeah. So, a lot of puppy nipping, which is totally yeah. normal, but we've got exercise pins, dog runs, right. chew toys. So so positive things that she can yes. choose. And, and we do a lot of observing. So the kids are learning that it's not always about petting her. Okay. So we are learning to be very patient yes. at her current age. You gotta be very patient. All right, well speaking yeah. of patience, Dr. Cahoon, you must be the most patient man on the planet to be <laughs> <laughs> to be a veterinary doctor. So we're here because the first two things, of course, are making sure that she starts getting into the habit of going to the vet, you know, regularly, and then also making sure she's got Lots her um, her shots up to date. Correct. Yeah. I think the starting point when we see young animals like this is to make sure that we talk to owners initially about diet. Yes. It's important to initially feed the food that the breeder was feeding okay. so that there's not a quick change. Right. But then ultimately adjusting over to a good quality single protein source, limited okay. ingredient, holistically formulated food. Nice, nice. Okay, now let's talk about the immunizations and making sure she's healthy inside and out. Um, puppies and shots, how does that go? So puppies and vaccinations, one of the things that uh, you need to understand is that the later vaccines are the most important vaccines. Okay. So we start them about eight to 10 weeks of age gotcha. and we give them immunizations until monthly until they're about five months old. Okay. And until that point, they do not have adequate immunity. Okay, okay. And then it's also good, especially as we're getting closer to the holiday season, we've got lots of decorations and cords and all that kind of stuff. Anything that goes in her mouth, she thinks is a toy. I call puppies at this stage toddler time. Yeah. And they act just like toddler children. So okay. they will put anything in their mouth, they will ingest anything that they can get a hold of, yeah. and they will do things like chocolate, Christmas candies, yeah. all those kinds of things are bad, ornaments. Mm. And then also the Christmas tree water is not a good thing to expose them to Ooh, yeah. because that has potential toxins in it. And then of course there's all kinds of cords and cables all over the place right. during the holidays and chewing electric cables is a bad thing. Okay, so Jason, you've got some surefire things to get Get rid of uh, the nippiness, right? You've got this is three. amazing. Yeah. This is called a wobbler. So what they do is they knock it, and little uh, little bits of kibble comes out of that. Excellent. So she learns to bite plastic. This is very hard plastic. Yeah. So sometimes when we're petting her, we may give this to her instead of her chewing on our hand. Good There's a lot stuff. of different things like that that you can use. All right. Well, we're only two months in, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a lot of raising of a puppy to do. Her uh, name is Shasta. We will Shasta. see her again next month. Dead face. I can't take it. Look at the face. Oh. I love those paws. Look how big her mm -hmm, paws mm -hmm. are. And those wobblers, <laughs> the Kong makes those, and mm -hmm. they, uh, that's what I have for my dog. Very handy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Very handy indeed. Oh, Shasta's a cutie pie. Thanks, Gord. All right, time now is 9:39. Hey.